Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching and welcome to the English Network Phuc radio, television station and newspaper. And now, I have slide at you, sir. Bình Phước step up information provisions on administrative reform. Bình Phước fruits and farm produce fair leave a strong impression. Bình Phước tighten management of court for cultivation area, practicing businesses. Conference seek opinions of law governed state building projects. Vietnam, ideal destination for global tech in Zion. The Provincial People's Committee of Bình Phước had issued plan number 176 on the provision of information regarding administrative reform in 2022. Accordingly, Bình Phước Province will impose the information provision on the significant targets and impact of administrative reform on socio-economic development in the province and the implementation, outcomes and achievements of national administrative reform program for the 2021-2030 period. It will also focus on the implementation of the single green door mechanism in handling administrative procedures, review the state administrative apparatus, and review and adjust functions and tasks and the arrangement of agencies, organizations, and units, and the results of implementation of service service reform. The program will also keep watch on the building and development of e-government and digital government, and facilitate information and technology application and administrative reform. It is set to promote measures to improve the province indices and report bottlenecks and the implementation of administrative reform in agencies, units and localities. The fifth holding of the Bình Phước Fruits and Farm Produce Fair 2022 was a success, providing a venue for businesses and farming households to meet and establish relationships. The fair promotes the achievements, potential and strengths of Bình Phước agriculture and that of other Vietnamese localities, honoring brands and products from different companies, cooperative and farming households. Many products were sold and various cooperation contracts were signed. The success of this year's fair will serve as valuable experience for the Farmers Association of Bình Phước Province to consult the Provincial Party Committee and the People's Committee and to enhance with departments and sectors to arrange future fairs to promote sales in a more efficient manner. The Provincial People Committee of Bình Phước has issued Officer Dispatch No. 1 to X9 on the implementation of Directive No. 1X3X from the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development on stronger management of for cultivation area and farm produce packaging businesses serving exports. The People's Committee has asked the Provincial Department of Agriculture and Rural Development to build and supplement criteria and codes for cultivation areas and packaging facilities into resolutions, programs, projects and action plans for the province's socio-economic development. The department was also requested to work with other departments, sectors and localities to inform enterprises, cooperate cooperatives and farmers of regulations on the issuance of codes for cultivation areas and packaging firms. The department will have the Provincial People's Committee work with the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development on building necessary technical conditions for cultivation areas and packaging facilities in the province to open up the market and address technical barriers and notices of non-compliance with phytosanitary regulations, food safety and COVID-19 prevention and control. It will also bolster the application of information technology in management of farming areas and packaging facilities in a national database set up by the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development. Ladies and gentlemen, President Nguyen Xuân Phúc shares a conference on June the 10th to collect Central and Central Highlands locality opinions on a draft project to build a strategy for building and perfecting Vietnam's law governed socialist state by 2030 with a vision to 2045. The conference organized in the central province of Guangnam was the second of its kind to be held following the first in northern Guangning province a few days ago. 
Participants gave opinions about a number of issues, such as completing the mechanism for controlling state power, increasing measures to promote people's power, building a state apparatus with civil servants and employees capable of fulfilling their tasks, and boosting the decentralization of power and leaders' accountability. Addressing the meeting, President Phil stressed the building and perfecting a law-governed socialist state of Vietnam of the people, by the people, and for the people, under the party's leadership, is the focal task during the political system reform process. He asked participants to thoroughly study and popularize the draft project to create consensus among officials and party members about the party and state's viewpoint and directions regarding the project. Defense Minister General Fang Van Yang on June the 10th has pilot a meeting with his counterpart from Singapore, the U.S. and Canada on the threshold of the 19th Sangri La Dialogue in Singapore. On the afternoon of June 10th, Minister Fan Van Zang had bilateral meetings with his Singaporean, U.S. and Canadian counterparts. At the meeting between Minister Zhang and Singaporean Defense Minister Ngang and Han, the two ministers agreed on the direction of cooperation in the coming time and they changed opinions on issues of mutual interest. At the meeting between Minister Zhang and U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, they agreed to continue promoting cooperation in the coming time, giving priority to overcoming war consequences. At a meeting with Canadian Defense Minister Anita Anand, Minister Zhang affirmed that Vietnam always attaches importance to the comprehensive partnership with Canada of which defense cooperation is a pillar. The two ministers agreed to continue to prioritize high-level contacts and strengthen cooperation in areas such as consultation, dialogue, training, and UN peacekeeping. Also on the afternoon of June 10th, Minister Phan Van Zang attended an informal meeting between the U.S. Secretary of Defense and the heads of delegations of ASEAN countries. Vietnam is again in the spotlight after Apple's move ship production activity to this Southeast Asian country. According to TRT World Pay, a Turkish radio and television corporation. This move showed that Vietnam has emerged as a preferred manufacturing destination for global tech giants. For the first time, Apple is moving part of its iPod manufacturing out of China, taking them to factories in Vietnam, Nikkei Asia reported on June 1st. The development comes as lockdowns in the Chinese city of Shanghai disrupted supply chains for various tech products, prompting the iPhone maker to find alternatives, it said, adding that an iPod assembler has already built assembly lines in Vietnam. Apple is already sourcing its airport earpieces from the Southeast Asian economy, which has registered sustained economic growth in the past two decades. Vietnam has placed itself as a favorable destination for outsourcing manufacturing since the country adopted economic reform in 1980s. The Republic of Korea and Japan, home to some of the biggest technology names, accounted for $376 billion in total FDI poured into Vietnamese manufacturing sector between 2015 and 2020, according to one study. A total of 1,700 cars will be used to make up a map of Vietnam at Do Rong International Tourist Area in Do Sơn District of Haiphong City on July the 9th. Launched by Auto Fund, the largest automobile community in Vietnam, the event is expected to set new records in terms of having the most puzzles by cars and a parade featuring the most cars in the country. This will mark the third time that Autofan has implemented a record-breaking program using cars. Previous records were set in 2011 with 135 cars and again 2016 with 480 cars and 35 motorbikes. While shaping the national map is complete, a parachute will pull the national flag from the sky to allow all participants of 1,700 cars to join a national flag salute ceremony. The program is expected to make contribution to boosting tourism development in Haiphong City, promoting Vietnam's tourism as a safe and attractive destination, especially for caravan traveling. And that's for news today. Thank you for watching BPTV News.
goodbye and see you next time.